A foggy morning across the Susquehanna Valley this morning. The low rolling fog hid the tops of buildings in Harrisburg. Morning commuters had to take it slow. And it made for us some interesting pictures in some places this morning. Meteorologist Matt Moore has a look at the visibility now. Still pretty foggy out there, right, Matt? Yeah, it sure is uh, in some spots, Susan. But the dense fog is now out of here for the most part. Those dense fog advisories were extended until about noon, but they have now expired across most of the Susquehanna Valley. We are taking a live look from our Harrisburg SkyCam right now. The uh, SkyCam itself up into the clouds, so it's kind of tough to see the city at this time. If you look on the bottom of your screen, you can see a couple of those buildings. Overall, temperatures are starting to uh, warm up here. 57 degrees, a pretty mild start to the morning and to the early afternoon here in Harrisburg. 57, uh, we're seeing other numbers in the upper 50s, near 60 as well. Dew points are also up, so that relative humidity coming in near 100% in most spots. East southeast wind now 7 miles per hour, and that's going to increase for us as we go into this afternoon. And visibilities are starting to uh, rebound a little bit, going out of that dense category, but still the lowered visibilities of about a mile and a half in most of the parts of the valley itself. We've got a lot of rain surging up from the southwest. Cold front back to our west. In fact, uh, some severe weather ongoing. I'll talk more about that here in a second near St. Louis. An active tornado warning uh, there. So, not a great Wednesday overall across the eastern half of the United States. And we do have plenty of rain to go through the rest of uh, this afternoon and especially into this evening. You've seen a couple of uh, batches of moderate rain developing very close to York, uh, York City and right down I 83 as you go to southern end of York County itself. And that's all drifting up to the northeast. So, Lancaster probably will be getting into that moderate rain within the next hour or two. Like I said, the dense fog advisories for the most part have been peeled away, with the exception of Chester County or Coatesville coming in with near zero visibilities. But as you can see, other locations uh, anywhere between three quarters of a mile to about four mile visibilities now. So it will be a little bit of a foggy afternoon for us. We'll keep the clouds around as well. And rain, it could be moderate to possibly heavy at times into this evening. And uh, we'll see the mild temperatures continuing for us. Also, a little bit breezy, too, with highs climbing to near 60 degrees. Our average highs this time of year are 39. So we're about 20 degrees above normal for this time of the year. And it gets even warmer starting tonight. Areas of fog around us, it's a little bit breezy for us. Uh, a few showers and some drizzle continue, but unseasonably warm. The temperatures really don't dip down a whole lot. We see the lows falling to about the upper 50s and then climbing after midnight. And they continue to climb as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Record warmth for us. There may be a few showers in the morning and perhaps in the early afternoon, but we should get back into at least some breaks of sunshine during the later parts of the afternoon hours. Highs near 70 degrees. We will be in shorts weather. By the way, the record high is 62. And we're going to be smashing that record, I think, in most spots here into tomorrow. Right now, those temperatures pretty mild. Upper 50s, uh, for the most part, in the southeastern counties, near 50 in Sealands Grove at this hour. But uh, we're really starting to see that warm air surging in the eastern half of the United States. 75 in Houston, 72 in Dallas. And here's where the cold front is. And right along that cold front, We'll be talking about some severe weather in the uh, parts of the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. See, that, again, that active tornado warning near St. Louis. It's going to get even more active this afternoon. The Storm Prediction Center has a moderate risk out for parts of the Tennessee River Valley into Kentucky as well. Here in the Susquehanna Valley, we are not expecting any severe weather, but yes, we are going to be seeing that rain as we head through this afternoon. So, again, more showers and uh, possibly some pockets of heavy rain. Uh, mainly focused in our eastern counties as we go into the later parts of today. Then we head into tonight. Stays cloudy. A couple of showers around, but that, that really warm air out ahead of this cold front continues for us. Then the cold front pushes through and it hangs around. It stalls out just to our south here into Christmas morning. And that's going to be the uh, little bit of a tricky part of the forecast because there may be a couple of showers that try to run along that front itself. Total rainfall amounts, not a really impressive, maybe near an inch in most spots, but overall just kind of a soggy day for us. And then we go into uh, Christmas Day itself, a milder, mostly cloudy day. Saturday looking like some rain, some showers continue into Sunday, and then more rain Monday and Tuesday. So, pretty active weather pattern for us near 70 tomorrow. Wow, unbelievable. Pretty warm stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. And you weren't just standing in front of a gray wall there, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> really? right. It was pretty foggy. <laughs> it was so foggy. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm.